Hey there students, um, in this clip we're going to be reviewing um, arithmetic series and sequences. Uh, so we're going to start out by going over two examples on arithmetic um, arithmetic sequences. So write this down, review on arithmetic, arithmetic um, sequences. Alright? Now we're going to be doing this review in the context of a geometry, I mean arithmetic means, okay? So what we're going to be finding here, we're going to be looking for the arithmetic mean of sequences, all right? So let's take a look at example one. Is the correct pen here? Um, example one. Find. One, find the, find the arithmetic mean arithmetic mean of the sequence five comma dash comma dash comma dash comma dash comma forty so we have question mark here question mark here question mark here mark here. So the arithmetic mean is basically asking you to find the numbers that fill into these um, empty spots. Okay, this is A1 all the way to AN. So um, in order to find each term, we need a common difference. All right, we know what the first term is, so we need to find a common difference in order to um, in order to compute what the next subsequent terms are. All right, so this is basically A1. This is A2. This is A3, this is A4, this is A5, and this is A6. So using this information, we know that uh, the formula, the general formula for finding the nth term is AN equals A1 plus N minus 1 times the common difference. This formula can help us find what uh, the common difference is. All right. So since we're going from A1 to AN, we know that the first term, A1, is 5. The nth term an, in this case, is a sub 6. We're going all the way to the 6th term. All right, and a sub 6 is 40, which basically automatically means that n is 6, because we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We deal with 6 terms. Okay, and uh, we need d, the common difference. That is what we're looking for. As soon as we find what the common difference is, then we can generate a2, a3, a, and a4. All right, so let's plug in this information into the formula, and then we're going to compute what D is. So let me write the formula here again. A n equals A1 plus n minus 1 D. All right, A n is 40. A1 is 5 plus 6 minus 1 times D. We're looking for D, okay? So we have 40 equals 5 plus 5 D because 6 minus 1 is 5. All right, so let's get D by itself. So to do this, we subtract 5 from both sides. And I will have a 35 equals 5D. If 35 equals 5D, then to get D by itself, you divide both sides by 5. And then we have D equals 7. Okay, so what on earth does this mean? D equals 7 basically means that to generate the missing terms, we need to consistently add positive 7. All right. So let's see if this works. So we're starting from 5. If I add 7 to 5, I get 12. If I add another 7 to 12, I get 19. I need uh, two more spots. And if I end up in uh, 40, then that means my answer is correct, okay? If I add 7 to 19, I get 26. If I add 7 to 26, I get uh, 33. If I add 7 to 33, I get 40. That's exactly what I want. So my answer here uh, checks out. Okay? So notice what we're doing for each step. We're just adding adding 7. To get here, just add 7. To get here, we just add 7. To go here, just add 7. And in the final step, just add 7. So basically what I've been doing all along is just adding 7 constantly because the common difference is 7. So there goes your geometric. Geometric mean.
All right, let's run another example similar to this. Uh, example two. Uh, example two. Find the arithmetic means. Example two. Find the arithmetic means. Means uh, in the sequence. In the sequence, um, ten, comma, dash, comma, dash, comma, dash, comma, negative six. Okay. So if you take a look at this uh, sequence right here, you notice that you going from ten to negative six. If you're going from ten to negative six, what does that tell you about the common difference? It tells you that the common difference is going to be negative because the sequence is decreasing. All right. So in this case, uh, this is, uh, I'm going to use the blue color. Uh, this is A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. All right. So let's, there, there you have it. Now, um, now let's find out what the common difference is so we know what we're adding every time to get this. The negative number or what we're subtracting every time, okay? So, um, Let's see what we have. We know that A1, the first term, is 10. That's the first term. A sub n is A sub 5 in this case because we're going all the way to the fifth term, which is negative 6. And then um, n is, by, is 5 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. All right? D, the common difference, is what we need in order to generate the missing terms here. So we're supposed to put a question mark here, question mark here, question mark. We're looking for what goes uh, in this box right here. Okay, so let's write out the formula: a n equals a one plus n minus one times d. We're looking for d. Okay, so we're gonna plug in all these arguments into this equation and generate what uh, d is. So a n is negative six. Negative six equals a one is ten plus n is five minus one d, like that. Negative 6 equals 10 plus 5 minus 1 is 4, 4D. And then you uh, subtract 10 from both sides. That leaves us, us with, um, since these signs are the same, you add and keep the sign. Negative 16 equals 4D. Divide both sides by 4. And then you get what D is. D equals negative 4. And there goes your final answer. Okay, actually, that's not your final answer. That's a common difference that we are looking for, right? So we can use this to generate the missing terms. All right, so d is negative four basically means you subtract four every time. All right, so starting from ten, I need three spots filled out, and hopefully the next term ends up at negative six. All right, so ten minus four is six. Six minus four is two. Two minus four is negative two. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Excellent job. That's exactly what we want. All right. So these are the geometric means right here. So basically what I'm doing every time is I'm, I'm just subtracting 4, subtracting 4, subtracting 4, and subtracting 4. That's what the common uh, difference is. Okay. So that's that for uh, finding the nth term of an arithmetic arithmetic um, sequence in the context of geometric means okay all right so um thanks for viewing this video please subscribe to my videos for future updates um collection of clips you can find them at www.mat.serve.blogspot.com